a really, really long time ago, before toys, trees, birds and animals. Even those animals with the big floppy ears and big trunks. Our story starts before humans like you and me, before shepherds, before wise men. <laughs> Our story begins so long ago, it was even before my teacher, Mrs Evans. A time before everything, God made the world and it was well good. But the humans he made, like you and like me, said mean things and were really quite nasty. In fact, the humans didn't listen to God. They hurt each other and wouldn't make amends, so God and humans could no longer be friends. But to be friends again, God had a plan. His plan was to send a very special young man. Years later, there was a young lady called Mary. From the Bible, I mean, not the baker off the telly. One day, or maybe even night, an angel appeared suddenly and gave Mary quite a fright. The angel said, I bring good, good news, it's well good promise. There'll, There'll be, be a baby, baby born, just, just as God promised. Mary is going to have a baby, just as God promised, and the baby will be called Jesus. There was a man called Joseph, he was going to marry Mary, but then he noticed she had a bit of a belly. He saw her big belly bump and wondered how it got there. And so he scratched his head and whistled his hair. But one night when Joseph was sleeping, an angel came to visit. The angel said, Mary will be giving birth through the spirit. I bring you good news, it's well good promised. There'll be a baby born, just, just as God promised. So Mary and Joseph, both of them, set off together on a journey all the way to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, Mary was ready to give birth to the baby who will be king. But guess what? There was no room for them at the inn. Don't, Don't be afraid. afraid. Don't, Don't get uptight. Relax, take a breather. You'll be alright. So they managed to find somewhere to stay. In a stable. In a place full of hay. They stayed in a place where animals got fed. It was there that the baby Jesus was born, the straw for a bed. Now, in the fields nearby, there were some shepherds. They're minding their own business. Maybe cleaning their shoes. Maybe trying to scrape off the smelly sheep poos. But all of a sudden, something really weird happened. Out of nowhere, an angel appeared. Don't be afraid, that's what I say. Say, Say hi, hi to, to the baby, baby in a in manger, manger full of hay. hay. Then, as the angel said that, something even weirder happened. Suddenly, loads of angels appeared, and I mean loads. We bring good news, they said. It's, it's well, well good, good, honest. There'll, There'll be, be a baby, baby born, just, just as God promised. So the shepherds, having listened to what the angels said, hurried off to Bethlehem to find the baby Jesus. And they found him there, lying in this manger of straw in the stable. There were also some wise men in the story. They had been travelling a very long way. But they didn't use Google Maps or SatNav. They followed a star. They went to the king, King Herod, and asked him where the baby Jesus was, for they had seen his star. So, so the king told them to go to Bethlehem, which wasn't at all that far.
Then the wise men found Jesus next to animals with fur, and they brought him some gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And the wise men bowed down and worshipped him. The wise men remembered that Herod wanted them to report back to him, but Herod wasn't very nice, so they were warned in a dream not to go back to him. Don't be afraid, hear what I say. Just don't, don't visit Herod, go home another way. Herod searched high, Herod searched low. Where was Jesus? He just didn't know. An angel appeared to Mary and Joseph to warn them to hide from Herod in a different country. Don't be afraid, don't get uptight. Relax, take a breather, you'll be all right. So they escaped to a different country until Herod was gone and then they were no longer afraid. They travelled back home and that's where they stayed. So Jesus grew up. To a, bo to a baby, to a, for a boy, to a man. Jesus grew up to be a carpenter. And he did amazing things. He healed the sick, he told great stories. It was amazing all the time. He also walked on water and even turned water into wine. And do you remember that time long, long ago when humans like me and you were mean and not very nice. When we were nasty to each other and wouldn't make amends. And when God and humans could no longer be friends. But then God, God had a plan to make us friends again. Well, Jesus, the baby, the man, was it that same Jesus and God's rescue plan? Jesus lived, then he died, for you and for me. He did it to make our wrong history, to take the blame for all the mean things we've ever done. But something amazing happened because he's the most powerful one. He came back to life and it was worth a big high five because the well good news is Jesus came alive. So don't get scared or jumpy and don't be afraid. I'll be with you always, says Jesus, not for a bit, but all days. And that's why Christmas is the well good news, honest, when Jesus came just as God promised. Um.